right, Shalom, Shalom, Akim. First, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakar Kadash. All right, the true name of the Heavenly Father in the Hebrew is Yahweh. Okay, and the true name of the only begotten Son, who the world entity calls Jesus Christ, His true name is Yahweh Shai. In the Hebrew, all right. I to give double honors to my apostles and elders, a great millstone who proved well and taught me this truth. And shout out on to all the brothers out there to the four corners of the earth pushing this word in sincerity and truth to the women and children that believe also, you know, to the elect. Shout out on, all right. Brother Kazapa from GMS Valley, North Carolina, come back with you another quick lesson through the spirit and power. Yahweh Mount Shai. And um, this lesson is basically be in, entitled um, The Beginning of Sorrows. In all hell breaking loose, okay, because the times that we're coming in, all right, all hell's about to break loose, okay, you know, and and many sorrows, all right. When you look in the word sorrows, it means pain of body, mind, and soul, okay. It's coming to the planet Earth, man, okay, all right. So many sorrows are coming to this planet, all right, and and two thirds of our people. Are, are going to be heavily affected by this, all right? All right, us men of the Lord, Lord as well, we be a part of the elect, all right? Uh, we're going to see these things, but Yahweh yeah, Shimon Shai is going to take care of us, man. All right, Lord's will, we be a part of that number, man, okay? All right, but, um, you know, two-thirds in these heathen nations, they're going to be feeling it. And we're in the beginning stages right now, man, okay? All right, so, you know, we're going to cookie get the scriptures and, hey, let, let's let the scriptures speak, man. All right, and see what the scriptures tell you what's going to go going to be going on in these last days. So, get straight into it. This is Second Ezra, chapter 16, verse 18. It says, the beginning of sorrows, kind. So, this is the beginning of, you know, the pains of the body, mind, and soul, okay? You know, it says, in great mourning. All right. And what's mourning? You being upset, you being um, saddened by something. OK, you know, so let's quickly, you know, I'm going to quickly get the word mourning. See what the word that word means. All right. Let's see. So I can get the word mourning or more to mourn. All right. The word mourn. Means to feel, show deep sorrow or regret. All right, yeah. Hey, these people are be regretting that they didn't um, listen to the words of Yahweh by Shema Shai do his men out there in the highways and byways. So, great mourning is coming, man. Okay, it says, um, grief for, sorrow over, lament for, weep for. It says, uh, it says, great regret or sadness about loss or disappearance of something. Kind, they're good. Okay, so they're gonna be in great mourning because of the loss of life, or the loss of quality of life, the disappearance of insurance of life. All right, security. Okay, these are the things that these people are gonna be um, mourning about, man. Being sad, all right, having great sadness about. Okay, so they're gonna have you know pain of body, mind, and soul, all right, and sorrows, all right, and and have great regrets, you know, great sadness. Of the loss of life, the loss of quality of life, uh, and, and the dis disappearance of, of security, man. Okay, you know, it says, um, the beginning of famine, kind, the lack of resource of food, all right, and ultimately, what's gonna come in that time? The famine of the word, okay, the famine of the word, of hearing the words of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. But quickly, I want to get that scripture, um, I believe it's the book of. Amos chapter 8 verse 11 and it reads it says behold the day is come say if Yahweh the most high that I will send a famine in the land not a famine of bread or thirst for water all right which these things are going to come also all right a physical famine but here here's one of the most important um famines that's about to come okay it says, not a famine of bread or of thirst for water, but of hearing the words of Yahweh, kind, right? The men out there is not going to be out there in the highways and byways, right? The true men of the Lord, okay? You know? I'm not going to be teaching the people out there, man, no more, man. It's not going to be safe for us, man. Us men of the Lord, Lord's will be a part of the elect, to be out there to teach, all right? So that, that whole time period of teaching is going to be over, okay? You know? 
and and now it's gonna be a hey, survival mode under the um, umbrella of Yahweh by Shimei All right, it's no longer gonna be uh, the time to be teaching, man. All right, so you're gonna be asked out if you don't get it. That's why I said a great morning. All right, that morning, you know, being sad for a loss or a disappearance of something, they're gonna be uh, uh, saddened for the disappearance of the uh, of the prophets, man. Okay, you know, the disappearance of the of the. Words of Yahweh Shimei Al Shai. Okay, it says um verse twelve, and they shall wander from sea to sea, and eat, and from the north even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of Yahweh, and shall not find it. Kind man, kind. All right. So hey man, you you'll be looking for the words of Yahweh Shimei Al Shai, but you're gonna find a disappearance of the words, man. All right, a, a disappearance of of uh counsel. Why? Because you want to take heed unto Yahweh Bashim Al Shai now. Okay? You don't want to listen unto words of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai right now. Okay? You know? You want to party and bullshit, you know, and, and, and not hearken, man. All right? But hey, in that day, you're going to be asked, you're going to be asked out looking for the men of the Lord, but you can't find it. So great mornings are going to come upon you. Okay? Let's see. Let's go back to the scripture. Um, here's the book of. Second Ezra, um, chapter sixteen, um, I read verse eighteen again. It says, "The beginning of sorrows and great mournings, the beginning of famine and great death." Kind, all right. All all these things are becoming a great death is coming to this world, man. All right, people are about to die, at, you know, in numbers, man. All right, right now you see people dying, in the hundreds, and you know, maybe thousands. You know, right now, hey, in that day, people will be falling by the thousands, ten thousands, hundreds of thousands, all at once, man. All right. Yeah, how about Shema Shah is about to bring great death to this place through diseases and, and more, man. And and the scriptures are going to say, okay, it says, um, matter of fact, let's go to Second Ezra chapter 15 really fast, okay. All right, Second Ezra chapter 15. And let's see what Yahweh Hashem Shai says is gonna to come to this earth, man. All right? <clears throat> it says uh, this second Ezra chapter fifteen verse five. It says, "Behold," say if Yahweh, Yahweh Hashem Shai, it says, "I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction." So all these things are coming upon this place, in America, man. All right, death and destruction. You know the sword, which is it killing any killing instrument. Was Esau Edom was gonna be that heavy killing instrument? Okay, all right. Of Yahweh Shemuel Shai, Yahweh Shemuel Shai is gonna use Esau Edom, so called white man, the devil that the Bible speaks of, to put a lot of you people to death, especially two thirds of the nation of Israel, man. All right, you know two thirds of the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans through the seed of your father and confusion of faces who line go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Two two thirds of you are gonna be destroyed here. In America, man, all right, because you hearken not unto the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Um, see, it says, For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and her hurtful works, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Therefore, save Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness. Kind, so you had time to get right. All right, but you did it. <laughs> all right, <laughs> so Yahweh Shemuel Shai is not gonna hold his tongue. All right, to tell you, uh, you know, as touching your wickedness, man. And who's the Lord's tongue? The men of the Lord. The men out, out here in the highways and byways telling you to get yourselves right, man. All right, or Yahweh Shemuel Shai, or else. Okay, it says, um, which they um profane commit. Neither will I suffer them and those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. All right, so the Lord ain't having you do um, these wicked activities anymore, just, you know, being all indulging in them anymore. The Lord is going to judge you for it. It says, Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the of the just complain continually. Kind, all right? So the souls of the elect of the nation of Israel, which is the just on this side, are, are complaining to you, how about Shai, continually. All right, but even the righteous blood, which are the, the righteous, ultimately is the Israelites. All right, the blood of the Israelites is crying unto the heavenly Father for justice, man. All right, but you know, ultimately, the point I want to get is that, hey, man, you're not gonna for you not listening to Yahweh Shimon Shai and his men. 
right, on the highways and byways, okay, you're gonna be judged, man, for your, for all your wickedness, man. Okay, all right. So um, let's go back to uh, um, Second Ezra chapter sixteen verse eighteen. In the latter part, it says, "The beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear." Kind. All right. The beginning of wars and the powers shall stand in fear. Okay. It says. And the beginning of great evils, Saki, the beginning of evils, what shall I do when these evils shall come? Kind. So even the, the prophet, you know, the man of the Lord, Ezra, all right, who, who we know that the Lord said, you know, his life they're going to be straightened that day, all right? You know, even him was like, dang, all these things that we happen upon the earth, you know, I, I mean, how am I going to be good, man, you know? Damn, like, what, what am I going to do in those days, man? All right? Because he knew he was going to come back, man, which Ezra is right now is amongst the churches, okay? You know, he's amongst, you know, the, the the brotherhood right now, okay? You know, and, you know, back then he was like, what he's going to do, man? Because he knew he's going to be back here uh, um, in, in, in these latter days, man, okay? All right? So, he, you know, all these things that would come that he saw, you know, he he was like, damn, man, it's going to be that bad. All right. And it really is, man. All right. And we're just seeing the beginnings of these. All right. All right. And it's about to get worse, man. It's, all right. It says on um, the second verse, chapter 16, verse 19, it says, behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. Kind. All right. You know, famine, plague, you know, tribulation, anguish, anxiety, you know. Um, hard times are sent for scourges for amendment. All right, for scourges for uh for change, man. All right, for for yourself to get right, for you to notice that you are supposed to um you know uh to get to these are things sent as judgments and signs for you to get right, man. All right, all right. When you see a hurricane coming through, that's the Lord telling judging and telling you to get right if you survive it. <laughs> you know, all right. It says um. Um, amendment. Let's get that word. What amendment means? It says a minor change or an addition, uh, designed to improve. Um, so yeah, these these things, which when you look up scourges or, or chastisements, all right, you know, score or these are sent as scourges, beatings for change. So the Lord is doing all these things, saying famine, plague, tribulation, anguish, throughout the four corners of the earth right now on a low scale for our people to notice it and change their ways, man. But we know that our people are not going to do that, man. Okay. It says verse 20, but for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness. Kind. So two thirds of the nation of Israel are not going to turn from their wickedness, man. Okay. They're not, they don't give a damn way how much my shot is shown them, man. All right. They don't pick up the clues or nothing, man. All right. All this hell going out through the four corners of the earth and they're not picking up the clues, man, to get right with Yahweh Shem Al Shai. They're just ignoring them, okay? All right, but the, the the men of the Lord, the elect of the nation of Israel, 144,000 and one third, all right, men, women, and children, all right, they see these things, all right, they see those scourges, you know, and a hey, they, they're mindful of it, all right? It says, nor be always mindful of the scourges. So two thirds don't mind, are not mindful of the scourges, but the elect, all right, they're mindful, man. Okay, and let's look up that word mindful real fast. Okay, all right, what's, what's that word mindful mean? All right, mindful. Let's see, slacky. All right, mindful. Mindful um, is an adjective, it says conscious, aware of something. Um, yeah, aware of something, man. All right. It says uh, we can be more mindful of the energy we produce. Okay, yeah, you being conscious or aware of something, man. All right, so the two thirds of the nation of Israel are not mindful of the scourges, man. The Yahweh Shema Shai sends that the four corners of the earth, but the elect are conscious and aware. All right, that this is why they're gonna, um, you know, take heed unto the words of Yahweh Shema Al Shai. All right, it says um, verse twenty one: Behold, victuals shall wax so. Shall shall be so good cheap upon the upon earth. All right, you know everything is at low prices and stuff. People think they're doing good. Gas is low. Okay, you know it says that they shall think themselves to be in good case. Kind. Everybody think it's all good and dandy right now. All right. It says and even shall 
And even then shall evils grow upon earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. And that's what you see out the, out the four corners of the earth, man. All right, famine, you know, the sword, you know, any killing instruments, people getting killed. Out the four corners of the earth, people starving, and great confusion going on, all right? You know, hey, Babylon the Great, man. <laughs> all right, confusion, the great confusion, all right? Babal meaning, um, going back to the Hebrew word, um, Babel, which means to, uh, which means confusion, man. All right, great confusion. All right, this place, America, is great confusion, man. All right, it says, uh, verse twenty-two: For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine, and the other shall that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy kind. All right, so how about Shimon shot about to destroy two thirds of the nation of Israel, man? All right. All right, many. When you look at that word, many is a huge number. Okay, all right. Let's look up that word. Hey, let's look up the word many. Okay, many. All right, a uh, uh, pronoun and adjective. It says a large number of. You know, it says. Uh, let's see. Yeah, a large number of man. Uh, let's see if we can find another definition. Kind of. Uh, stop pulling up right now. You know, we know it's a large number of, majority of, okay? So, majority of people that dwell on the earth shall die, all right? Shall perish, all right? Will die, you need to be put to death of famine or lack of bread, not eating. And if you escape that and you're able to eat, guess what's going to destroy you? The sword, any killing instrument, a person killing you with a gun, bat, knife, and even Esau's military, man. You know, you getting ran over by a tank. Humvees blowing you the bits, you know all these things, man. It's gonna come upon the um the wicked of our people, two thirds of the nation of Israel. But Yahweh Shema Shai will protect his elect, man. Okay, you know. It says um verse twenty three. It says the dead shall be cast out as dung. Yeah, people will be just dead in the streets, man. You know this is how bad that it's gonna be, man. This is how bad Yahweh Shema Shai. Just got to have it out here, man. Okay. All right. The scriptures say that it's going to be so bad. The archangel Michael is going to have to stand up to protect the elect of the nation of Israel. Okay. You know, it says, and there shall be no man to comfort them. All right. So nobody's going to be here to comfort you, man. All right. It says, and for the, for the earth shall be wasted and the city shall be cast down. So all hell is going to break loose, man. Very soon, man. All right, and only the elect of the nation of Israel is going to be safe in that day, okay? All right, the angels are going to protect the elect, man. All right, the ones who fear Yahweh Shema Shai and are doing things that are well-pleasing in his sight, man, okay? Those are the ones that's going to be safe in that day, man, okay? Um, let me see something. Um, quickly get the scripture. Uh, this is Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. It says, And at that time shall Michael... All right, which is the, um, you know, the head archangel under Yahweh Shai. Okay, it says, and at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. All right, which he's only going to stand up for the elect of the nation of Israel. And there shall be a time of trouble such as was never since there was a nation even to the to that same time. Okay, so it's going to be a, a time of trouble like never seen upon the planet Earth, man. All right, so everything that has been recorded in history, that has been seen in history, is going to be child's play to what we're about to see. Okay, it says, and at that time, thy people shall be delivered. All right, and that people is talking about the elect, all right, that remnant of the nation of Israel, man. The 144,000 and one third of the nation of Israel, men, women, and children. Who believe on Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai? All right, those are the ones that's gonna be delivered, okay, saved, okay. All right, it says everyone that shall be found written in the book, all right, that book of life, man, <laughs> that book of protection, <laughs> you know, for you to be protected, man. So only the elect of the nation will be protected, you know, the elect of the nation of Israel will be protected, man. All right, in that day, okay. You know, but two thirds, you go suffer all the famines and destructions and 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 fall by the sword and fall by a famine and perish in that day. Why? Because you didn't want to be mindful of the scourges. All right. 
of from Yahweh Bashim Al Shai for 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 you to change. Okay, so you know, hey Akim, you know, just showing you, hey, Lord's will be part of the elect. We're gonna be safe in that day because we are doing what is well pleasing unto Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Okay, you know, but two thirds they're gonna be asked out, man. Okay. And Lord's will, we be, uh, hey, we please the Heavenly Father that we be uh, protected in that day. So with that, you know, hope you occupy and edified. I like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father. And it is the only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rokar Kadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who grew well and taught me this 100% truth. And shalom on to all the brothers out there to the folk on the earth. Pushing this word in our righteousness and sincerity to women and children that believe also and to the elect, Shalom.